Imagine if everything you thought you knew about high blood pressure was only half the story. Could the advice you've been following actually be making things worse? Stay with me, because what you're about to learn might just change the way you see your health forever. High blood pressure, or hypertension, is often called the silent killer, and for good reason. It creeps up on you, often without any symptoms, until one day it's too late. But what if I told you that high blood pressure isn't just about cutting salt or taking medication? The truth is much more complex, and it's a story that needs to be told. Before we dive into the natural ways to manage blood pressure, let's unravel the mystery of what's really causing it. Because believe me, it's not just what you think. Doctors often focus on salt and genetics, but they sometimes overlook the impact of lifestyle factors such as stress, lack of sleep, and even exposure to environmental toxins. Chronic stress, for instance, leads to the release of hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, which can keep your blood pressure elevated for extended periods. Moreover, poor sleep quality is linked to higher blood pressure because it disrupts your body's natural rhythms, putting extra strain on your heart. Our bodies are made up of about 60% water, so it's no surprise that dehydration can wreak havoc on your system. When you don't drink enough water, your blood thickens. This forces your heart to work harder and your blood pressure rises. It's like trying to pump syrup through a straw, it just doesn't work efficiently. Picture this, when you're dehydrated, your body goes into survival mode. It starts to conserve water by narrowing your capillaries, those tiny blood vessels that deliver oxygen and nutrients throughout your body. This constriction increases blood pressure, but it doesn't stop there. Dehydration also triggers the release of a hormone called vasopressin, which further tightens your blood vessels, making the problem even worse. But dehydration does more than just thicken your blood. It also affects your kidneys the organs responsible for filtering your blood. When dehydrated, your kidneys release an enzyme called renin, which starts a chain reaction, leading to the constriction of blood vessels and the retention of sodium, further increasing blood pressure. It's a vicious cycle, one that can be easily avoided by staying properly hydrated. But how much water should you drink? The answer isn't one size fits all. It depends on factors like your body weight, activity level, and even the climate you live in. We've all heard it. Cut back on salt to lower your blood pressure. But what if that advice is missing a crucial detail? I know that you find this video informative so far and will continue to find the rest of this video informational and very educational. So go ahead and give me some support. This is simple, easy and free of cost, but significantly very important. It will only take a few seconds of your time and like I mentioned before, it will cost you nothing but will help to grow my channel and also enable me to spread more valuable needed information like this. Now, click on that thumbs up button. It's a simple act, but the impact can be massive. Imagine that simple click as a ripple in a pond, extending outwards to touch and influence others to become more conscious about becoming more informed about their health and well-being. It also helps to spread much needed important information to a wider audience which can potentially make a change in someone's life. So go ahead, show your appreciation for these types of informative videos. Click that thumbs up button to potentially make a change. Now, to ensure that you don't miss out on any more valuable content, click the subscribe button and the notification bell that is beside it, then select all to gain access to all the other videos on my channel and to stay up to date with any new ones that gets posted. Most importantly, subscribing is absolutely free. My channel isn't just about sharing, it's about building a community of knowledge seekers who understand the importance of staying informed and updated when it comes to a healthy lifestyle. Not all salts are created equal. The table salt that most of us use is stripped of essential minerals, leaving behind just sodium and chloride. This processed salt is what contributes to high blood pressure, but here's the kicker. Cutting out salt completely can also be harmful. Confused? Don't worry. We'll explore this paradox in just a moment. Natural salts like Celtic sea salt or Himalayan salt 
still contain vital minerals such as magnesium and potassium. These minerals help balance sodium levels in your body, ensuring that your blood pressure stays in check. So while table salt might be the villain, natural salts could actually be your ally. Speaking of minerals, they play a more significant role in your blood pressure than you might think. Magnesium, for instance, helps relax your blood vessels, making it easier for blood to flow. Potassium, on the other hand, works to counteract the effects of sodium. Imagine your body as a delicate orchestra. Each mineral is like a musician playing a critical part. If one instrument is out of tune, the whole symphony suffers. That's what happens when you're deficient in these essential minerals. Your body's finely tuned system begins to falter, and the result is, you guessed it, high blood pressure. But the role of minerals doesn't stop at magnesium and potassium. Calcium, often overlooked, is crucial for the proper contraction and relaxation of blood vessels. Calcium works in tandem with magnesium to control the constriction of arteries. Furthermore, the balance of these minerals is crucial. A diet high in processed foods tends to be low in magnesium and potassium, but high in sodium, creating an imbalance that can drive up blood pressure. By incorporating more whole foods like leafy greens, nuts, seeds and fish, you can naturally boost your intake of these vital minerals. Now let's talk about a vitamin that often flies under the radar. Vitamin D. This is sunshine vitamin is crucial for the absorption of minerals like calcium, magnesium and potassium. Without enough vitamin D, these minerals can't do their job effectively and your blood pressure could skyrocket. Have you been avoiding the sun? Or maybe your diet is lacking in vitamin D? Stick around because we'll soon discuss easy ways to boost your levels and protect your heart. Vitamin D deficiency has been linked not just to high blood pressure, but also to a range of cardiovascular diseases. It helps regulate the renin-angiotensin system, which controls blood vessel constriction. When your vitamin D levels are low, this system can go haywire, leading to increased blood pressure. Unfortunately, many people are deficient in vitamin D, especially those living in higher latitudes with less sunlight exposure or those who spend most of their time indoors. To boost your vitamin D levels, you can get more sunlight, eat vitamin D-rich foods like fatty fish and fortified products, or consider supplements if necessary. For years, we've been told to avoid fats to protect our hearts. But here's the surprising truth. A low-fat diet might actually do more harm than good when it comes to blood pressure. Without enough healthy fats, your body craves carbohydrates, leading to insulin resistance, a major player in hypertension. But wait, if fats aren't the enemy, what does this mean for your diet? The answer might surprise you, and it's coming up next. Healthy fats, especially omega-3 fatty acids found in fish, nuts and seeds, have anti-inflammatory properties that support heart health. They help keep your arteries flexible, reducing the risk of high blood pressure. On the other hand, trans fats and excessive saturated fats found in processed foods can lead to inflammation and arterial stiffness, contributing to hypertension. Moreover, healthy fats are essential for absorbing fat-soluble vitamins like A, D, E and K, all of which play roles in maintaining cardiovascular health. So, instead of eliminating fats from your diet, focus on incorporating sources of healthy fats like avocados, olive oil and fatty fish. Now that we've uncovered the causes of high blood pressure, let's talk solutions. Hawthorn berry and cayenne pepper are two natural remedies that have been shown to help lower blood pressure. Hawthorn strengthens the heart while cayenne dilates blood vessels, improving blood flow. In addition to these remedies, simple lifestyle changes can make a world of difference. Regular exercise, staying hydrated and getting enough sunlight for vitamin D can all help maintain healthy blood pressure levels. But there's more. Incorporating mindfulness practices like meditation or yoga can significantly lower stress levels, which in turn reduces blood pressure. Chronic stress can cause a cascade of health issues, including high blood pressure, so managing stress is crucial. 
Furthermore, sleep plays an often overlooked role in blood pressure management. Poor sleep can lead to higher cortisol levels, which can increase blood pressure. Ensuring seven to eight hours of quality sleep each night can help regulate these levels. Finally, dietary changes like reducing sugar intake, especially from processed foods, can have a profound impact on your blood pressure. Sugar can trigger insulin resistance, leading to weight gain and increased blood pressure. High blood pressure isn't a one-size-fits-all issue, and the solutions are just as varied as the causes. By understanding your body's needs and making informed choices, you can take control of your health. So next time you hear someone say that high blood pressure is just about salt or genetics, remember, you now know the truth. And that knowledge is the first step towards a healthier, more vibrant life. Remember to like this video, subscribe and click on the bell beside the subscribe button to access more health insights. Share this video with someone who needs to hear it. The information provided in this video is intended for educational and informational purposes only. It is not intended as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis or treatment. Always consult with a healthcare professional or a registered dietitian before starting any new diet or making significant changes to your eating habits, especially if you have underlying health conditions. Your health is your most significant asset, and it's crucial to make informed decisions under the guidance of professionals. Remember, there isn't a one-size-fits-all solution to health, and what works for one person may not work for another. Therefore, work with your healthcare provider to make the best decisions for your health. Use this information as a starting point. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, take action today for a healthier tomorrow. And in the meantime, keep an eye out for my next upcoming video. But until my next video, click on the playlist that is displayed at the end of this video for more informational and educational videos like this. Also, stay healthy, stay happy and keep learning. See you in the next video.